today's press conference. Uh, first, we will have our uh, conference led by Dr. Ed Scott, our athletic director. Uh, here before us today, we have University President Dr. David Wilson, our new head coach of the Morgan State University basketball program, Kevin Brodus, and as I mentioned, uh, athletic director Dr. Ed Scott. Following the press conference, we will have a Q&A. After the Q&A, there will be one-on-ones in the back, uh, my right, your left. And without further ado, I'll pass it along to Dr. Scott. Uh, thank you, Dell. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. I'll actually let Dr. Wilson kick us off. He'll say a few opening remarks. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll talk about <coughs> the uh, search process, uh, why we landed on Coach Brodus, why we think he's an excellent fit to move us forward. Um, and then we'll give Coach Brodus a few minutes to speak, and then what we will do is turn it over to uh, questions, as Dell had said. So, Dr. Wilson, please kick us off. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, first of all, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is really an exciting day for us. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to officially welcome uh, Coach Brodus, uh, his wife Belinda, and the rest of his family to our Morgan family. Uh, we are extremely excited and pleased that you are joining us uh, to lead our basketball program uh, in the era in which we find ourselves. Uh, we are very excited about having Coach Brodus as the head men's basketball coach here at Morgan State University for a number of reasons. You'll hear some of those from A.D. Scott. But let me just say that we're excited because we know here at Morgan that we have the potential to win and to win the right way. Uh, we know that we have the potential here to mold young men into outstanding citizens. Uh, we have the potential here to recruit uh, student athletes who understand winning, as we like to say here, uh, in three areas. Uh, first of all, uh, winning in the classroom, because we take very, very seriously here the term student athlete. Uh, and so we know we have that potential because we have that history here. Uh, we have the potential here for our student athletes uh, to win on the court uh, and to understand that as they don the Morgan uniform, uh, that that is indeed an expectation of them. And we have the potential here uh, to make sure that we are molding men uh, who will have the tools when they walk across the stage here at Morgan in either December or May and get that incredible Morgan sheepskin to win in life because that is really what it is about at the end of the day. And so uh, with that in mind, um, when I had my conversation with Coach Broders, um, uh, we talked about a number of things. Of course, we talked about uh, the incredible experiences that he's had along the way. Um, and we talked about um, opportunity, and we talked about dreaming, and we talked about legacy building. And it was really at the end of that conversation that I realized we have the right person. A.D. Scott has indeed made the right choice. Uh, those of you who have worked with me as president of Morgan, you know that I'm not a president uh, that really embraces what I call settling. Uh, yes, you can have story histories, but you can't live in the past. You have to, if you will, look to the future and always be prepared for a future and be prepared to even embrace something that you can't even see. And it was when Coach Brodus and I had talked about the dream. It was a dream where, you know, Morgan State University can dream to be in the Sweet 16 and beyond. Why not, Morgan? It was the discussion around opportunity, whereas in the country, is there a better opportunity to make a dream like that happen in a way that has never happened before. And then we talked about legacy. Well, guess what? If you dream that way, and if indeed you perform that way, ultimately, there will be statues erected here on campus, and there will be stories written about Coach Brodus in books that will last forever, and the teams that he would lead. And so he really got that. He was really excited about this whole notion of stretching and really saw our incredible institution as a place 
that he could dream, and he would be supported in that dream, and he could show young people uh, throughout this region and indeed throughout the nation uh, that Morgan is a place where they can come and realize any and all dreams that they have. And so with that in mind, I certainly want to extend my hand in congratulating you, Coach Brodus, uh, on saying yes to A.D. Scott's invitation to you to join our family and to bring your amazing family along the way. And you can rest assured that you have our support and the support of our alums and students in order to enable you to realize the dream that we all talked about and that we all embrace. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wilson. As you can see, um, it's easy to work at a place like Morgan when your president is so involved. Uh, what Dr. Wilson didn't say is he's not a micromanager. Uh, as we went through this process, Dr. Wilson gave me the latitude to bring on campus the people that I thought would be the best fit um, for our head coaching position. Um, and before I get into that, I want to say a couple of thank yous to the search committee. I know Dr. Banks is here. I believe Dr. Hargett is here. I can see her sneaking out to the side waving. Um, to uh, the athletic department staff who participated. I don't think a lot of folks know when you go into these search processes, uh, it's all consuming. Uh, it is the most time consuming thing that you can do. Um, and we just finished a football search about two months, uh, just over two months ago. Um, so it was a lot, uh, not to mention that we had to put this search on hold for a brief period because I had to go back to Binghamton uh, to defend my dissertation. Uh, so we had a, a lot of things going on and I couldn't do it without a great staff. A uh, special thank you to Terrence Lolly. I don't know where he is in the room today, um, but like Andy McGee, Terrence Lolly ran point on the search for me, uh, coordinated all the logistics and made sure the candidates had everything that they needed uh, to get a real feel for Morgan. Um, so the other thing I want to do is thank my wife. Uh, she can't be here today, um, but my wife is the first person to mention to me that I should, I should have a conversation with Coach Brodus. Um, my wife knows Coach Brodus. I've known Coach Brodus for about 10 years myself. Um, and she said, I think you guys would work well together. Uh, and so when we started the search process, we brought about four different people on the campus. Uh, I spent probably 20, 25 hours on the phone with different people from all across the United States. What we were looking for, that's what everybody asks, what are you looking for? And when you say that word fit, it's often hard to describe. Um, but I felt it with Kevin. Uh, as I said, I've known him for a while. Uh, he's an outstanding recruiter. I mean, that speaks for itself. All you have to do is look at the 24-7 or the rival rankings. Um, I've seen him develop players. Uh, but what Dr. Wilson talked about most importantly was his ability to develop young men. Uh, when I met Kevin, I was a lot younger in a different place in my career. Uh, we've stayed in touch over the last 10 years, and I've got to learn more about him as a man. Um, and I really thought that in making this move, we needed somebody who could come in and they could hit the ground running. The fact that Kevin had had coaching experience, the fact that he's been a winner, I mean the word winner everywhere he's been, and he's worked at phenomenal institutions was highly desirable for us. Uh, the other thing was his familiarity with Baltimore. Uh, he understands Baltimore very well. He understands the DMV region very well. Um, so we don't think that recruiting will be an issue for Kevin. Uh, frankly, we'll think he'll be able to out-recruit a lot of folks. Um, but most importantly, his intensity. Uh, you saw his face, right? Put a little pressure on him early. Um, but his intensity, his intensity as a coach. He believes in what he does. He does it with passion. And at the end of the day, I have no doubt in my mind that he will put our young men in a position to do well in the classroom, on the basketball court, and most importantly, when they walk away with their degree from Morgan. And he believes in that. The last thing I'll mention, because I think this gets glossed over from time to time when you look at, at uh, Kevin's resume, is his HBCU ties. The fact that he started out at Grambling for a year, uh, then finished his playing career at Grambling, I'm sorry, at Bowie State, and he's now in the Hall of Fame at Bowie. Um, so he understands our demographic, he understands the type of student that we attract here at Morgan, and he knows how to get them from where they are to get them to where they want to go. And so those were all the reasons for me. Um, that we chose Kevin, and I just feel at the end of the day um, that he'll have a long tenure here at Morgan and be able to position our basketball program exactly where we want it. So as Dr. Wilson said, um, personally, professionally, I'd just like to say thank you for accepting our offer, and most importantly, I look forward to a nice long partnership with you as we build this program back.
I want to thank you, Dr. Wilson, Dr. Scott, faculty, staff, student athletes, students. I'm honored to and, and humbled to be here today. And it's, it's deeply heartfelt that you chose me to lead your basketball program. I'm excited about this opportunity and to be a, a part of this great institution. I can remember one of the first times I visited Morgan State back in the mid-1980s. I decided then that I better keep, keep it to myself how much I enjoyed Morgan that day when we had a, the fortunate chance to scrimmage against Morgan State when I was at Bowie State. I enjoyed it enough, but I had to keep it to myself because I didn't want to make my alma mater too upset. <laughs> I realized I could easily have chosen, chosen Morgan State and would have enjoyed Baltimore. I didn't get to Morgan State, but I did get to enjoy Baltimore on new, numerous occasions and still do. It's an awesome city. And while we're not part of the CIAA, I'm glad that Baltimore has the opportunity to show everyone in 2021 its rich history and its splendor. And hopefully at some point, the MEAC will follow suit and come play in Baltimore. <laughs> I have here today my wife, Belinda, who has been on this journey with me for over 30 years in my coaching. She has been my best friend, my wife, my mother of my children, and words cannot describe what she has done for me. <clears throat> Bear with me. Because <clears throat> she's given me four miracles that are here today, and I thank God for it every day. Um, the four miracles are my daughters and my son, Nicole, M Milan, Paris, and Kevin Jr. Um, <clears throat> please indulge me for a few minutes because I wouldn't be here if it was not for some very special people. First, I want to thank God. Just morning when I woke up, I said, it's God's plan. And I told the devil to get out the way. It's only because of his grace, mercy, and favor I can stand here now. I'd like to thank Coach Turgeon, who has been supportive of me in my ways, and I cannot describe how grateful he, is, he has been to afford me the privilege to work side by side with him at the University of Maryland. I will miss the team next year. I, miss, I will miss the things we've built. I hope them the best, other than when they go when when the NCAA championship is uh, decided, because now that's reserved for Morgan State. Mm -hmm. I like to thank John Thompson III, that man in the back. <laughs> a great man, a great coach who afforded me the opportunity to coach with him at Georgetown. He took us on a miracle ride in 2007 when we went to the Final Four. I will always cherish that moment, winning the Big East championships, regular season and tournament championships with him over our time. i also like to thank Coach Carl Hobbs. You have been my mentor, one of my best friends and confidant in this profession. And I am extremely grateful of the opportunity you gave me to coach along with you at the George Washington University. I'd like to thank Art Perry and Jeff Jones who brought me into Division I basketball at the American University. They taught me the Division I way. I would also like to thank, thank Ty Hart who brought me into college coaching at Bowie State. What else can I say? That's my alma mater. I would like to thank someone who's dearest to my heart um, that's not here with us today, one of the most influential people in my career. He taught me the entire scope of college basketball, X, O's, X and O's, and recruiting. Will Jones, you are truly missed. I will try to keep your legacy alive and plant seeds here at Morgan State. I have intentionally saved the best for last, and that is none other than John Thompson, Jr., man sitting over in that corner. Coach Thompson is a special man to me. He took an inner city kid that was green in this game, taught me everything I knew, and he's, wanted to push, he's one that pushed me over and over, and sometimes painfully so, that I still feel the bruises. 
I mean that figuratively, <laughs> not literally. <laughs> but I've always knew it came from the, a place of love. He held me up. He kept me going. He gave me advice. Treated me like he was like I was one of his own. That's the kind of man Coach Thompson is. He's a, he's a, he's that person that still confidence in me and gave me courage when I took the head coaching job at Binghamton. He coached me through my ups and downs. Even when I was one and six at Binghamton, which a lot of people forget, they always talk about the championship, when I want to get, give up at, at any time. This is not a cliche to me. He has been and is still my leader, whether he knows it or not. He's stuck with me. I'm a better person and man because of him and his family, Miss Thompson and sons, Ronnie and John. To my friends, and I see a lot of you in here, Thank you for all your support, love, and continuing and wrapping your arms around me. I know your love is unconditional, and that means the world to me. I don't have time to acknowledge you all, but I've noticed all your faces in here. You've helped me over the last 30 years, and I hope you appreciate everything that we've been along and we've done. Please charge it to my mind and my heart. While I love this, this, the sports, while I love sports, and you can continually guess what's my favorite, the game of basketball, I want to be clear that the players are here first and foremost to get a quality education. And that narrative will be woven into every element of my coaching. Parents have sent their kids here to Morgan State University, expecting when they graduate that they leave with enriched lives brighter futures and sense of preparation and confidence to con conquer a new road and ability to fill their dreams. We, and I say we, because sometimes people think the athletic department is excluded from the work that was required to meet those objectives, but as a member of the athletic department, I am and I will, and I'm very dedicated to their well-being. Secondly, the players are relying on me to bring another championship as Coach Bozeman did before. This is a great institution, and they should. The players are not playing to lose, and I'm certainly not playing, coaching to lose. I want them to trust that we can win together. We can win together. I will take all the losses, and you guys take the wins. We can do this individual. We cannot do this as individuals. We can do this with structure, discipline, understanding, and trust for one another. The fabric of our team would be decided on clear, concise, and simple core values that include hard work, ethic, character, and credibility, mean willingness to learn, adaptability to change, focus and respect for one another. With these values in place, we still will be the course. We won't give up. We'll be champions, athletically and academically. The Morgan State light is shining bright today. And I should have, I, I have a solid foundation because of the guy before me, Todd Bozeman. We will build upon it, and this place will skyrocket. Lastly, I have been asked by a few people, why Morgan State? And my response has been, why not? And why not me? My life, my family, my vision aligned with everything Morgan State and that's integrity, dedication, commitment, drive, and success. With those ingredients, coupled with the president's vision, Mr. Scott's vision, and direction, and pursuit of excellence, we can't fail. We won't fail. I've heard a lot of quotes, but there are a couple that stick with me, and there are your limitation <clears throat> is only your imagination and sometimes later becomes never. We will do it now. Like you said, we'll do it the right way. It's our time, it's Morgan State. Let's start today, let's get it done. I wanna thank you and say go Bears. Go. We'll begin our question and answer period. Uh, first up, questions? Okay. Yep. Uh, Ron Bailey, Rivals Brown. Doctors Wilson and Scott repeatedly hinted at and mentioned directly of the potentiality of this job, of this organization, of this institution. Was that attractive to you? 
what I mean, attractive to you in terms of taking the job? Do you think that it has a lot of potential here for success? I do. I, I tell you what really attracted me along with that was, you know, I've learned from some of my mentors, love who love you. Mm. They wanted me, and I saw it from day one, and that really stuck out with me. And with the growth that Dr. Wilson has done with this university and with the vision that Dr. Scott has, I think the sky's the limit. And that really, really attracted me to this university. I'd like to say one thing before I forget. It's a lot of young men in here that I that helped me get to this part. And no disrespect to the team, the team that's standing around you guys probably could beat you pretty good. <laughs> Thank God they don't have any eligibility. Uh, NBA <clears throat> players in here. We have Dewan Summers uh, from Baltimore, uh, J.R. Pinnock from George Washington with the Lakers, Dewan with the Pistons, and a couple other guys. But I like to thank some of the guys that came out and a lot of my friends. Uh, Keith Gray from AU, I forgot it. I see him over there. Um, a lot of these guys, a uh, former coach, Daryl Brooks, who coached me in college, who's the head coach at uh, Bowie State, uh, and a lot of other friends. One of my top assistants that a lot of you won't know, don't know, Bill Black, he's in here somewhere. Uh, he hasn't been hired. He won't be hired at Morgan, but he's still <laughs> one of the top assistants. And one other thing I do have to say before I forget, I've already had one turnover today, and I know I'm going to hear about it because i got a lot going on. And my wife looked at me just as soon as I sat here and I said, I forgot my ring. Don't take, you know, I wear a ring <laughs> and my wife. So I've had one turnover already. So <laughs> just excuse me. So I had to put that out there. Um, Smart man. So I just had to get all that off. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, I want to thank all the local high school coaches here, Coach Miles and a few others and, Best friends in here, Eric Savage, Ed Montgomery. A lot of people here that support us. And like I like to say, um, I asked them about the support here at the uh, Morgan State University. And people like to talk about, you know, we support. But the support starts after the press conference. It doesn't start with communication and talk before and doing. So... I've been assured that they have support here by one of my closest friends here, Ed, Ed Davis, and guys like that. And I see some of the ladies I met at the golf tournament the other day, so I want to <laughs> thank you for coming out. I just want to thank everybody for coming out and, you know, being a part of this. But we still need your support. Rick, Bill House, Barry <clears throat> Johnson, thank everyone. Coach from Mount Zion. Okay. Uh, could I just... Uh, Pick up uh, where Coach Broders left off uh, with Coach Thompson in the back. You can't see him here. He is seated. Uh, but I would also just like to make sure that I send a shout out to Coach Thompson in the way that you did uh, for actually having given you that opportunity uh, to create a path uh, to enable you to have had the kind of career that you had, a path that now brings you to Morgan State University. And so, uh, Coach uh, John Thompson, I have also admired your career uh, at Georgetown. Uh, and of course, when I heard this connection and you had that as a part of your background, um, there's truth you know, that sometimes you know, the leaf doesn't fall too far from the tree. Uh, and I just I really appreciate the way you molded uh, several young men along the way and, of course, created the path for Coach Brothers to make his way to Morgan State University. Do we have any other questions? Uh, we're going to take a few commemorative shots um, at the close of the uh, press conference, and then we'll go to our one-on-ones in the back. So right now... Hey, Dell, just one yes. one thing, because we did not mention it. To the uh, players, where are the, the gentlemen who are on the team? Do me a favor. Stand up. Stand up. Give them a round of applause. Please. Thank you, guys. I will say this, having been through this process recently with the football program, you learn a lot about yourself when you go through these processes, but you also learn a lot about the young men and young women in your program. And I would be remiss if I did not thank them 
uh, for trusting me, for trusting me through the process. It took a little longer than we would have liked. Uh, what people don't know is we met every Monday about 4 o'clock, and we went over academics, we went over strength and conditioning, we went over every part of the program. And uh, all those young men have stayed with us throughout this process. And so what I've learned about them throughout the process is we have exceptional young men who are going to be great stewards of the Morgan brand when they leave us. And so I wanted to publicly, in front of everybody, as your athletic director, say thank you. One last thing I want to I'd be remiss to not say this. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Julius Terrell, who made this happen, but almost made it not happen. <laughs> he's my agent, um, a good man, and he's thorough, and I, I'd like to thank you. Absolutely. And look forward to more work ahead. <laughs> thank you. Get a hold of the basketball. Sure. Yeah. Got you. Okay, gentlemen, we're doing. Press in. If I get you to put your hand under the ball and the head on top of the ball. Under the ball. Under the ball. There we go. Okay, got it. Excellent. Nice. Good. Coach Brodus, if you can actually smile, that would be great. <laughs> He's already getting to work. Good. Okay. Excited to have you. Thank you. Appreciate you. We'll take you in the back. We'll do your one-on-ones. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Right, folks. There we go.